welcome back to my channel. My name is Barb and this is Barbie Girl Crifter. Today my husband Pete's here with me to um, help share the haul and since he is off today so uh, we thought we'd have some fun and do a video. Let's get started. Yeah. Now you haven't, this is the first time you're seeing these things because I had them in my car for a few days. So we'll start with this. This is a wall pocket. This is a uh, Mary Engelbright wall pocket. Uh -huh. It's not old. It's from 2005. Yeah. It was $4.99. For holding uh, flowers and things? Yeah. Like it, it's, you know, like a wall pocket. You can put flowers in it. Like you put a bouquet of flowers in it, little water vase. It hangs on the wall. Uh -huh. It's pretty. I, I really liked it. I uh, paid $4.99, a little higher, but it was a 20% off sale, so I got 20% off of it. So I thought I'd take a chance. I think I'll be able to sell this for about $25. 20, Very nice. dollars I, I would think. And when she leaves stuff in the back of her car, you always wonder when you're driving if, if you might break something. <laughs> so you gotta be careful, right? Yep, that's why you don't drop my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is this cute little Home Co. Um, uh, I guess Geisha girl. She's dancing, I think. And she, yeah, she is a home co. She was two ninety nine again with a twenty percent off coupon. So pretty. Very nice. You see oh, that? Yeah. I can't see what the what the camera's doing, so I don't know how well we're in the shot. We just we just play it by ear. Okay. Uh, next up is this cute little Pottery Barn dish. Uh, Santa, I thought it was adorable. I just scooped it right up. Before I even knew it was Pottery Barn, I knew it was adorable. So I picked it up. It was $1.99. And Pottery Barn is a good thing or usual? <laughs> Definitely a good thing. You wouldn't like me shopping there. <laughs> yeah. Show the camera. So is it like a candy dish or what is it? Yeah, it's just like a decorative dish, candy dish, whatever. I would just put I wouldn't it on use my it for table. candy. Right. We're nuts. I wouldn't even. I just use it as a decoration on my table. Okay. So the next thing up, I found a trio of these um, Franciscan Desert Rose milk pitchers or creamers. I think they're with milk pitchers or whatever. Forgive the noise. We have a neighbor, a new neighbor who is re uh, what. Rehabbing an old 300 year old home. Yeah, so he's he has all this kind of like heavy equipment and he does stuff on the weekends. And we don't know when he's going to do it or not. So. so we're kind of stuck with what we have to deal with sometimes as far as as far as the noise factor, but it's okay. Now this is a um, newer pitcher. This pitcher is a newer dishwasher safe pitcher. And you can see the painting, I don't, I just don't think appears quite as good as the older ones. See if you, here's the older right, one here. The older here. one has more detail, like little black dots and the yellow flower. Is Yes. This is very simply, if you see here, see that one? Right. This, yeah. And this one, there's thorns on this one. See the... But anyway, we got, I got picked these up. They were $1.99 a piece and I thought definitely can flip these. Somebody probably had a collection of Desert Rose Franciscan, but I think these will definitely sell. I hope I'm in the shot okay. I showed this one, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Next up is this cute little mug. It's, oh, let me bring I don't know it up who it closer. Is or what? Um, you know, I picked this up because it was weird and because it, it looked like it was something. Uh, I remember watching a video, I don't even know who it was. But I remember watching a video of um, so another reseller and she discovered like one of these looking kind of things was worth quite a bit of money. So when I saw it, I was like, this is really good. And I'm going to pick it up. It's definitely unusual. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's It looks weird. like it's handmade or it's something. It's called, uh, I don't even know what the, this word is. It's P-E-T-E, Pete, Peter. Maybe it has Peter on it. I don't, it might have Peter on it. And it just looks so. Here, take a peek. This yeah. was, I think, 99. It was 99 cents. 
So that was a no brainer. Even if it, it's a cool mug, it'll sell. Well, Even if it isn't -E one of those ones that go for it's, a lot. It's not P E T E R, that's for sure. It's like P I T E I don't dash know. I. Maybe it's something French. Uh, show the bottom. And if any of the subscribers know, might have heard of this potter's name before, let us know. Because uh, I'll be researching, of course. Is it a drinking mug? Or it's something, look, cause it, look, it's on an angle, too. I, you know, I, you could probably drink out look of it. it. But I, I mean, that's quite a steep angle. Yeah. But, I, you know, I just got it because it looked really cool. And I thought, it looks brand new. And I thought somebody would like it. Do you want to hold up that um, the, wood, the wood thing? What, on the back of it, what does it say? It's Property right with a period. The brand. Branding. Does it have a branding? USA. You know, there's no words other than the copyright year. Which oh, okay. It must be like in the 70s. It's 60. If I read my Latin big letters for you, know, at the bottom of movies, uh -huh. it looks like it's. Uh, Look at this. Like it's 66 or something like that. Oh, okay. But there's no branding yeah. for. Wait. No, look carefully. I'll show you in a second, but... It's not really... It's like a wood composite, don't you think? Hopefully this is showing up okay. Yeah. Sure it is. Here, I'll give you a chance to... See, all it is... It's obviously something that was mass made. Produced. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I got it because it looked Over cool. here is the only writing I could see. And um, people like that for their man caves or whatnot. It does have a unique... What was, what was the price on it? Three ninety nine. Yeah. $3.99. I thought I'll 20% off. I'll take a chance. It has like a serial number after it though, like 5172 or if it's either a serial number or a model no, number. No, it doesn't really matter. I just thought maybe it was a home co piece or, you know, I wasn't sure. But it definitely is mass produced. But it's cute and somebody is going to want it for, for their Americana. Or yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. This. Next, next one here is awesome okay this was $5.99 I thought it was $3.99 but this was $5.99 this was six dollars okay but it is a Le Cousset I hope I'm saying that right it's a French cook French cookware French uh -huh. it's French cookware <laughs> that's about <laughs> it's, right it's yeah. a French fry too French fry uh yeah my my uh Philly accent. It's Le Crusette. It's a saucepan, and these really have a good resale uh, value. And I'm thinking I'll probably put like fifty dollars on this. Is it maybe iron more or steel? Or what um, it? it's it's like I you know I have I have one of these a big pot in like an aqua color, mm -hmm. and it's the same thing. Um, it's like it's like cast iron over enamel maybe? right yeah so i have a blue one i'm always afraid to use because it's so expensive <laughs> but uh yeah this one this and if this was blue or aqua the color that i have i would have kept it but i'm gonna sell it and i absolutely think i'll be making a good profit off of this which should be great look. Yeah. oh it is heavy yeah it is no, that's the kind of thing that's going to sit great on your stove, right? Yeah. It's yeah. got a little bit of paint moss on the top, but that's to be expected, I would think, because it's probably probably pretty old. Yeah. A little steam vent hole in there. Yeah, but the nice thing about yeah. those things is that they they look good after years of use. Yeah, yeah. I already showed that. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go show the linens next. I got a lot of linens this time, and um, I think that I'll do okay with them. Uh, I paid a dollar for this, and this is from the Van Gogh Museum. This is a, a cushion cover. It's got the, it's got the, uh, and it's new, so that'll be good. It's still got the tags on it. This is a Van Gogh print. A dollar, no brainer. I'll be able to make my money back on is that. Is that machine washable? Uh, probably. Spot wash. I probably wash it if I bought it because I'd have to. Um, this is a um, table so runner here. It's awfully long. It's a table runner. 
Now, this is probably a Pier 1 or Pottery Barn or something. Uh, they cut off the, uh, the brand tag, but I, I probably will be able to figure it out. Where it's got it a lot from. of color, too. But it's, very it's, nice. it's very nice. It's, got an, it's kind of Asian, Asian-inspired. So that would look really pretty with your Asian uh, tablescapes. Uh -huh. well, oh, here, let's show the back real quick. What was it, $1.99? A two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Would you have a dollar? No, the label. Yeah. No, no, the label. Yeah, two ninety nine. But I thought this was good enough to pick up for two ninety nine, and I think you know, be able to get it's spotless. So uh, this I just got. It was it was a dollar just for Easter. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Uh, oh, it's in. Oh, it got a little tassel on the end. Yeah. It's it's not nothing major. Oh, it's bunnies. not an expensive item. It's not you a like pottery bunnies. barn. This is for you. Yeah, but I thought it'd be cute for Easter next Easter to like throw it up for a couple bucks or use it myself. Because I one thing I do like with our table is I put uh, I collect bunnies and I love bunnies, so I always like the bunnies things with bunnies on them. So if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. It's not great quality so I wasn't worried about whether or not it would sell too much because I thought it would be cute for me oh I found something else uh this is a just a cute little for a dollar cute little ghost hand towel it looked like a decent quality hand towel although it doesn't have branding on it but it's is that like a Halloween thing yeah ghosts see look see yep ghosts ghosts I got this for us dollar for, for us halloween <laughs> fancy for halloween for the fall since it's finally fall i'll be glad you know i'll be glad for it i usually never want the summer to end um i love being home uh, i love the summer this has just been really a crappy summer hasn't it i'm looking forward to maybe i'm not looking forward to winter at all but i'm looking forward to um, I don't know, just, just some fall weather, cooler weather, start walking my walking again. I haven't walked and haven't done any, anything for a long time. Um, next up is this $1.99 adorable, just absolutely adorable baby blanket. Oh, yes. Isn't that adorable? $1.99, you know? Is that wool? What is that? Yeah, it's yarn. Yarn. Yeah, it's yarn. Oops, there's a little buggy on it flying. But I thought that was really sweet. $1.99? Absolutely. I mean, I know I could probably get like $15 for it. Who knows? And there's no it's perfect. That, no, it's it's perfect. There's no stains, no anything. I will uh, probably throw it in a washer on, on light and just air dry it outside. Just to... Yeah, you don't want to put that through the dryer. Yeah. Oh, here's a, another little thing I found. This is a pear. It's just a glass thing. It was 99 cents. It was the first thing I picked up. And, uh, you know, I probably would have put it back uh -huh. if I thought about it and if I'd seen it in the car. But it kind of just, you know, sometimes I pick, pick things up and put things back. This is something I probably would have put things put back. But it's cute. It's like a little frosted uh, pear with flowers. It won't go for much, but something to put in my store. Okay, this is um, a Girl Scout. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty big. Yeah, Girl Scout. This is, I got this for, do you have the price on your side? I think it was the top one. I don't know. Oh, I don't see one. Oh, is that it? Mm. Maybe it's in the front. I don't see it. But it was, um, I have another one and it was the same price. So this is a Girl Scout. It has a little a couple little stains on the front but I'm going to treat it you know I I'm going to wash it of course and I'm going to treat it it just looks really good other than that and it's not picked at or anything it really is cute and I know Girl Scouts a Girl Scout now or a Girl Scout from long ago would enjoy it I thought it was kind of cute here I got it that's my job to assist in holding. Yes, that is your job. <laughs> I didn't realize some of these objects were large. Yeah. Er. 
Well, you've seen all the objects that are all still on the dining room table that I haven't called yet. So I'm a video for. Right. Okay. Here is the next one. And this is the price of both of them. They were both the same price. Okay. These were $2.99 a piece. Oh. Is that cats? It is cats. Uh-oh. She might not want to sell this I one. I know. Uh, I won't. Right. I won't. Yeah, let's it's hold kind it of got a little pick in the back right here. But I can that's adorable. I thought that was so cute. I thought that would sell. It's pretty. Yeah, a lot of people like cats. Yeah, I mean, I would think that something like this would go for like 25 bucks, maybe. You know? Is it a, it's, I it's have a, a, I have a um, Beth, my friend Beth from Arizona, sent me a um, giraffe one, or I keep this one, but maybe I'll keep this one too. It's so adorable. All the pussy cats. You'll have to lay it on the ground and take a picture of it. Huh? I know I will, and like stand on the chair or something. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. So that is that, and then I just got a couple of books. They were ninety nine cents a piece, and they're for me. I don't. We don't even need to show them. That's okay. There's a knitting book that I got hard, for my mom. Hard really, yeah, hard covers. I do pretty good with. I do do very. You know, really very Searching well. Searching for beauty, huh? It's, it I don't looks know. like 50s era. Yeah, but some of these books do go. I did, I do like to uh, pick up some good hardback books. This is the Patriarch, the Rise and Fall of the Bingham Dynasty. It's a, um, it's a story about a family, American family. I think it's a real um, book, maybe kind of like a uh, biography or something. I don't know. Maybe not. This one's in honor of, of the great hurricane in 1938. What? What well, it says inside. Oh. There's a woman's... Well, I just actually got them because I like to read. Oh, no, that... So I read a lot myself. Book. So most of this, these are all something that I'm going to read. The um, And then I might flip for a few bucks or just re-donate. But I always buy... They're 99 cents. Now that they're... They have... They went crazy with their book prices. They had them um, like books hardback books for three or four dollars last year or something I was like no way nobody bought any of the books because you know you you, you just don't want to buy them it for four dollars or whatever um, so they're back to 99 cents I, I actually bought them for me to read so I can keep uh, doing my uh, up in my Apple bill getting <laughs> books sent to me right yeah, and the knitting is for mom. It's techniques and patterns. Um, she's getting into knitting and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and crocheting again. So I wanted to encourage her to, to do something fun for herself. And so these books, some of them are probably will have a pretty decent resale value. The, um, the one about Queen Elizabeth, I had the other one we didn't show, doesn't have a, a large, uh, you know, wouldn't be, it's a 20 year old biography or a 30 year old biography, but I thought I'd get it and read it myself because I'm into that. Uh, but the other book, the other two books, I think I looked at the comps and they're like $12 or something uh -huh. online. So I really wanted them for myself. Well, if you read it, you can always list them. Yeah, I'll list them after I read them. That way you know all the words I, are okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like puzzles, where you have to check all the pieces. Yeah, no, I, I'm not doing puzzles unless they are uh, not like thousand, 52 six. pieces or 100 pieces that I count out and make sure that they're all there for and they're special kid right. things or uh, unopened because that was just... Well, my favorite in, in this video oh, yeah. is, the, is the mug. And then my second favorite is that table cover, that cable, the long table. Oh, this one? Yeah, I think that's nice. That's pretty, yeah. It might be a pottery barn or a, um, I've seen it before, so it'll probably be Pier 1. Because I, I haven't been to Pottery Barn in forever, but it looks like something Pier 1 would sell. And that I would probably get. But, uh, hmm, what's my favorite? I like the cat, want this cat thing. And I, I like the pot because I think I'm going to make some money off of that uh -huh. so I can go shopping and buy some more things. That's right. Yeah, and I like this too. I, I just hope that it's the one that is actually worth 
you know, there's some that are worth like well, that's not something you see eighty dollars or your something or a hundred dollars or something instead of like ten. Or, it's definitely like a one-off item. Yeah, yeah. That's why I thought it would be interesting enough for for us, you know, for me to just try to flip. Yep. So, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll be having some other hauls very soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I have to go around and take this.